Hello, my name is Nisha Holmes. I'm a senior consultant on the experts team with Analysis Prime. Today I'm going to discuss one of the QRC2 2023 releases, specifically the show, hide totals, and display new totals, and stacked visualizations. So story designers can now show and hide totals and display net totals, which provides additional insights about aggregations for stacked visualizations. There is an ability to show or hide the total for stacked bar column charts, combination stacked bar and column charts, and Marameco charts. Net totals, the sum positive and negative values can be enabled in the styling panel for stacked bar and column charts and combination stacked bar column charts. There are separate styling and contextual formatting options for totals and net totals via the styling panel. Now this is limited to stacked vis visualizations and excludes stacked bar column charts with show as 100% enabled. This is available exclusively in the optimized story experience. So let's go ahead and take a look at this closer. Okay, so you can see here I have put together uh, two charts. One is a stacked bar chart and one is uh, uh, the Marimekko chart. So we'll start over here. You can see I have um, some negative numbers, uh, positive numbers all stacked in this chart. So to look at totals for each side of the um, the zero line here. Select the three dots and go down to show hide and you can now select totals and it will total the numbers on each side of the, the zero line for you. Uh, same with the Marimekko. Do the same over here. And totals. Now one thing we can do is if we want just a net total amount for each bar uh, we can go over to uh, the styling panel, select the chart, go to the styling panel, and then scroll down to um, data label, and we have an option to show net totals. And you can see now we have the net total of um, the quantity sold um, for this particular store, the Aussie store and second hand store. Now, of course, we won't have this option with this one because uh, the Marimekko does not allow for negative numbers. So as you can see here, if we scroll down, there's nothing to um, allow that. So hopefully this will help you in your designing of charts for your clients or for your own company.